Good morning and welcome to another edition of Quilting Quickies. It's going to be a crazy morning this morning. Crazy kaleidos is what I'm talking about. We're going to make kind of a crazy um, table runner here. It could be a bed runner for Halloween and it's using the 60 degree ruler. This one I haven't shown you before. 60 degrees and cut for the cure nifty notion rulers again comes with instructions of how to use the ruler. Everybody loves these two and a half inch strips. This is a Halloween um, set of strips that I have and I picked out for this one um, all of the orange and blacks and then also these purple and green ones come in there too all with the exception of this particular piece and this dotted piece that's in this one. But what's really fun about these is that we're going to just sew them together in strip sets and we need um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight of them. But what we're going to do is cut them in different widths. So I used widths of one inch, one and a fourth inch, one and a half inch, one and three fourths inches, all the way up to two and three fourths inches. Now you know our strips are two and a half inches, so that's the one here, the focal one that I used that we have to get some yardage for. Otherwise, everything is in this pack to make two of these. And um, of course, you need your setting triangles here and the border as well. But you simply sew these together and willy-nilly, it doesn't really matter. Things, you can sew two greens together. The police are not going to come, the quilting police will not come to get you. Or you can do purple green, purple green, or whatever you want. This is really fun and simple to do, very forgiving. And what I'm going to do is actually line up um, the ruler. And I always tell you, you know, nifty notions, you have to read it from the top. This time it's going to be upside down. I'm going to start, and I'm just going to line it up here at the bottom of this first strip. This one takes a little bit more um, different cutting, and you're going to go just a little past this top, as you can see right there. And then I'm going to cut down this side, and I'm going to make this one. And I need six of them for each of these. So what we can do here, if you really want to be frugal about your fabric, because I cut past here a little bit, we don't want to have that one. But what else you can do, well, I will cut this one, then I'm going to show you what else we can do here. Now, this might be a good place, but for demonstration purposes, for you to have a rotating mat so you can turn this around. You know, I can cut from both sides pretty good, but not perfectly. Okay, so then when it comes time to do the third cut, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the ruler up in here. So we get all these weird angles and different kinds of things. So I'm going to line this up over here is this way. Maybe I'll line this up on this. And I'm just going to cut this one here. I'm going to cut past. And then I'm going to go down this way. And as you can see, now I need to cut off the bottom as well. But the point here is to get an abstract look. You will cut these all different angles, all down these, and you'll need two strips sewn together in order to make these three um, kaleidoscope centers. And you'll just cut them back and forth, back and forth, until you get some things that look like this. And then we're simply going to put them together like this. And these are some that I cut earlier, and as you can see, they're a little bit shorter. So I would have to make an adjustment for that. But you would just then you would just sew these together like this, and like this, and sew them together until you get this block here. And then again, to set them together, this is simply one of these right in there. And then we have a 3 and a half inch border and a binding. You can see that nothing matches up. This is why I call it crazy. The sky's the limit here. Now I will give you one tip on this one. It may not matter to you, but if I was doing this again, you can see here are our kaleidoscopes like this. I probably would have kept all the oranges to the outside because as you can see here, the black kind of blends in. Now, there are a lot of my staff members that like it this way because it's just kind of crazy. It's up to you. But just keep that in mind when you're making this, that if you don't want the colors to blend together here, you have to make sure you have something different out here. 
So that's all for this edition of Monday Morning Quilting Quickies. If you would like this pattern, it's available as a free downloadable um, pattern off of our website, pnqs.net. Um, the link, it will be posted after you watch this video. So thanks a lot for joining us today, and we'll see you next Monday morning.